Now, one thing I want to talk about, um, some of you might be spending too much time preparing for each client and following up. And I think this is, you know, I, I, I say if, if you're taking more than 30 minutes of prep for any client session and more, more than 30 minutes of follow up, you know, I spend, <laughs> my clients probably don't like me saying this, I spend approximately five minutes of prep for every client session and, and uh, less than five minutes of follow up. Because usually, because after my client sessions, they get an automated, it's all automated for me. I, I automate as much as I possibly can to lessen the admin. But my clients get an automated email from me after my one-on-one -on -one session saying, hey, uh, what, was your, what was your number one takeaway from it? And what are you excited to do to take action on before our next session? And then, so if they respond, great. Some of them don't respond, that's fine. But they respond. So in other words, I just, I wanna really, and the reason why I think this is important to, 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 to discuss is because there is a danger of burnout when you are so leaning forward so much in how you care for your clients. And therefore, you don't have time for marketing, even though marketing is really important as an ongoing activity. Does that make sense? I used to be that way. And because I'm a caring person, I think I still am a caring person, but I think I've gotten a little bit wiser with my caring, a little bit more personally sustainable with my caring. And also, I've also gotten wiser about how transformation really happens. I used to think, I used to think that by leaning forward in my client relationships, I can make them change. Any of you <laughs> recognize that? I can make someone change by being really on top of it, by, by, by making, like texting them every day, <laughs> you know, making sure they do the thing. I'm gonna make them change. I'm gonna make them create great results. I have great testimonials. Ah, it's, it's really up to me. You know, so I felt like a lot of it was like 80% was my, my, my leaning forward to get any, any change to happen in my client. And sure, of course, if you lean forward so much and makes people do things, of course, they're going to do things. But my question is, after they stop working with you, have they, are they going to continue being empowered to do the things that you've helped them to, to transform in? And some people will you know, say, well, that's, that's why they're going to keep being my client for life, right? <laughs> I keep leaning forward and they keep being my client for life. Fine. Okay. That may be good for business, but I don't know. I, the whole client for life thing is a whole other segment we should talk about. But anyway, so, um, so now what I do, over time, I've learned to lean back. And, and even, even physically, like literally, even in the client session, I, I lean back. I don't, because I remember in the beginning of my work with clients, I used to get like all so much strain and so much stress after, after certain client sessions or after multiple client sessions, like, oh my God, you know, but now it's like, I lean back, I relax, I'm open and I'm receptive to whatever will channel through me. Um, of course, probably because I have a lot of experience now, I don't, I don't need as much like okay, checklist, make sure we talk about this. I, I still keep an agenda. I take the five minutes of prep to basically read what they wrote me and to come up with a few agenda items to kind of you know, to talk. So I do keep notes in front of me when, when I work with clients and I go, okay, okay, so I guess we should probably talk about this next. Yeah, what do you think? But then I lean back and I let them be in charge of their own transformation. Whatever energy they are willing to put forward is how they will, they, they can change themselves more than I can change them. Uh, so uh, if they don't wanna do anything, I, I'm not gonna make them do anything, you know? And you probably have learned, even if you try to make someone do something, they might do it begrudgingly or anyway, they, they won't do it out of their own free will. Anyway, so I, I, that's, that's why I recommend um, just being cautious and aware of how much leaning forward, metaphorically speaking, you're doing. How much prep are you doing for client sessions? Do you really need to do that much prep? I do five minutes. How much, how much time do you spend prepping each client? Now, some of you have corporate clients who pay you thousands per engagement. That's a little different. I'm talking about one-to-one -one services here, okay? Especially as a coach. Um, now, as a consultant, if you, if you are a consultant where you have to like walk client through particular processes, obviously you have to prepare for that. But, but those of you who are more healers or mentors or coaches, maybe try doing a bit of leaning back and, um, and, and letting the clients, and, and by letting the clients do it, well, I guess it's more of a Taoist client services approach. By letting the clients do it, the clients will say, we did it ourselves. And that's so much more empowering 
then you made us do it. <laughs> right? Thank you for being there to inspire us along the way and to guide us along the way. But we did it ourselves. I did it myself. You know, so I hope this helps.